Alright. I give up on this for now. Um, okay. Let's just continue where we left off, I guess. It's like super high latency on my second monitor, so I'm just refreshing it real quick. There we Wait, was that a hope ID card? down really who's only down that oh parati's down too get up fam myself into the Hope's comm systems and am attempting to establish contact with the Hope's more primitive processor now. Would you like me to play a mood suitable music selection <laughs> while you travel to the bridge? Oh, sorry. File not found. the bridge up ahead I'll admit I am curious to wake him Greetings, captain I am speaking to you through the hope ready to skip the hope are you sure that is extremely dangerous skipping <laughs> and also potentially kill an entire planet yep jump starting the skip drive destination set to the rings of Do it. In case I don't get another chance to say it, it's been interesting, Captain. Doing it. I mean, affirmative. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADA, does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yeah. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport. 
and this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware. You should not be doing this. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I... How? Huh. <laughs> Hold on to some. How? So, we figured this out by bringing the thing to us because we had high enough, uh... engineering and stuff. But what happens if you didn't have that? It worked. to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Oh, oh. <laughs> I feel like I've been turned inside out. Let's not do that again. Science weapon range. Your next attack after killing an enemy is guaranteed critical hit. Carrying capacity can go up even higher. 20% damage. Whenever you are affected by harmful combat status, your ranged attacks reduce the target's armor rating by one, uh, one point per hit, and stack up to 10. Ooh. Now we just need to get out of here. Up up. What? Arf. Arf. Oh wait, there's still some guys chilling at the door. Ah! You know what? I'll take the double XP. I'll take the XP. Ah, I'm about to die. Okay, lay down. Nice. Sorry. Quincy? Physical damage plus 25%. No, thank you. Oh, wait, can we fast travel back to the ship? <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it. Bark. Barking to Bork, bork. Captain, I am receiving a Captain, I shall now play- Thank the Lord you want me. I was able to get some defenses up, but they might not be enough. The board has sent some serious firepower to pry me out of here. They're trying to get in here, and I'm not sure I can stop them. If they capture me, if we can't communicate again, there's something very- The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine! Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine! You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! <laughs> it would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your- How can I- Uh... Take okay. care. Yeah, let's get to them quick. Phineas Lab. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain. And we are still in- What's
All right, we're coming, Phineas. We're coming. Oh God. Phineas, where are you at? Oh, really? Terminal passcode? Nice. I'm coming. Another science weapon. Nice quarters he's got here. Confront. Wait, what did it say? Did it say confront swine? Oh, confront Sophia. A reminder to all crew members. Captain, as it appears, we may soon. I believe the crew would like to speak with you too. Oh man. Whoa. So, Phineas got himself taken to Tartarus. That's usually a one way trip. I never got to know Doc Wells. We ain't friends or crew. But he's still one of us. He's the reason the boss is up and walking right now. We can't just leave him to die in Tartarus. To extract a scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. And abandon Phineas. We have to free him if we have any hope in saving the colony. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. For getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again. That Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need to If you really mean to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you doing it, everyone strap in. If we don't make it, at least got my trusty toss ball stick, got my ass counts. You can count on us, Captain. We're crew. Never thought I'd volunteer to break into a prison. Seem command, not waiting on your. Can we talk? Nope. <laughs> All right, let's do this. It's a saw. If there's anything you want to do before prison, do it now before the cross point of no return. I mean, I have some um, missions and stuff like that, but I'm gonna make a save for that. Okay. I'd like to save. Sure, I like how it asks you. Uh, let's see this one. I am pleased to inform you that we have placed the resident count in the interior. I would also add. Leave your captain's ID with me, and then you do not. Err. I can make the. Oh, speak of the devil, Captain. Attention, unauthorized spacecraft. You are here by. Your ship is not permitted to leave until you remit. Only after your Captain, I would not recommend this. Hey, how do you know if I fire if you're a real officer under the helmet? Show me your biometric okay. ID. I'm feeling generous. I'm transmitting the ID of a productive law abiding employee. Carter is docking a transmission terminated. Biometric ID received. Transferring data to external. Nice. How can I be of assistance? I Talk to you later. Heart arrests. Oh boy.
Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How do we do that? Getting in's one thing. Let's just hope we're able to get out again. Wow. That actually lasted us all the way to the elevator and then it resets. Let's look around. There's gotta be a few ways through here. What if, if this works, I'm going to be amazed. Whoa. Oh no. I think we're going to have to go up here. Ugh. No way. What? <laughs> That's sick. This is actually working so far. We haven't had to fight a single person yet because we've had enough points to get his stuff. Okay. Nice. No way, dude. <laughs> Jeez, this is a big place, too. All right, MSI. I'm not one for rousing speeches, but the captain needs our help. So get in there and fight. Are you new here? I didn't. Uh, yeah. Oh. Much. Oh, wow. You can talk yourself out of that. And it adds another layer to you. Oh, so you can get spotted three times. Look who ah. it is. Chairman Rockwell. I'll be damned. I was prepping the studio for our announcement, and here you are as a bonus. I had heard you'd taken a mechanic under your wing. What's the matter, girl? Could the captain's treated me right. Better than any of you board folk ever have. Ah, oh, and the wayward doctor. These days, I'm more interested in breaking them. Wouldn't mind taking a swing at yours. When you go off and get yourself shot, Try My word. You've correctly identified the most recognizable. <laughs> it's a wonder what Phineas saw in you. Then again. I've got work to do. Wait, so he's not going to like stop me? I don't see why you wouldn't stop me. I don't see what the fuss is about a blasted laptop. Oh no. No, I messed that up back there. Uh, quick. I get in. Nice. Guess this is it, huh? Whatever comes of this, I'm just real glad to know you all. Here we go. Captain, you have an uncanny talent for complicating. 
You've been working with Dr. Wells from the beginning. When we moved to uh -oh. arrest him, you've disrupted the balance of power. Balance of the force. The order of things. It's over, Sophia. Stand down. Do you imagine you're leading? Those barbarians from Monarch are running wild in my prison. I... You're nothing but a rabble rouser. I'm going to put an end to your... The board is the only legitimate... I admit I miscalculated the extent of your inf... I have Dr. Wells in... Let's talk about this. Fair enough. Alright, you don't want to have to die on tires. I'm giving you a chance to walk away. Interesting that you think I'm going to die here. Nothing stopped me so far. What do you think? You Fair will. point. I don't know how you've managed to defy the odds. By every reasonable... I've devoted my entire life to protecting... Or it's not worth there isn't much for. of a board left, thanks to you. You've thrown this system. You were always an unknown variable. Oh, uh, funny you should say that because Chairman was just telling me this is all your fart. Fart. <laughs> you were trying to recruit me. You're trying to control me. Persuade. My breath. We believe can still be saved. Damn. You have to have science eighty. This prison is a. And don't worry. No. Oh. You have to stop. You can't do this. Shoot him. Get him. All right, reload faster. Come on now. Did that take down all of them? Oh wow, it did. Nice. Fire's <sighs> chairman. Hibernation key. Oh nice. There we go. Got it. You, Phineas. you don't know how glad I am to see you. You did the right thing. And you, you lunatic, you broke into the board's own fortress just to rescue one doddering old... They do too. I'm all right, thanks to you. Akande wanted my cooperation. You've broken the board's stranglehold on this colony, and you, you and I are going to have to. I don't like the sound of that at all. Uh oh. Earth has gone dark. We haven't received a single message in three years. Th two years ago, the Earth's Directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. They haven't exactly been hands-on around here anyway. So there's one less rubber stamp to worry about. Earth is humanity's home planet, Miss Fenhill. The psychological effects of losing our original home will be devastating. You mean we're all alone out here? Really alone? I'm afraid so, Miss Holcomb. Halcyon is the only home we have left. 
Returning to Earth is no... We're in serious trouble, my friend. Do you know what this means for Halcyon? We can't... We have a lot of work ahead of us. Best get started. Yes, you're right. We must begin the revival process in... We're going to need a leader, and I can't imagine... Somebody has to run this. I'm the only competent person left. You can count on me. I'll help you revive the other comics. I can't tell you. When I revived you, I thought we were... We can't save Halcyon on our own. We are not a colony anymore. Our last... Nice. Lifetime employment program. The Psy teaches that. that everything in the universe happens Complete the outer the worlds plan. on any difficulty. But the stranger that arrived in Halcyon was an unplanned variable. From the moment he landed in Emerald Vale, his actions altered the course of history. The events on Tartarus brought about the end of the board's authority. But the board's mistakes would haunt the colony for decades to come. The damage they left behind would require the work of a generation to repair. Dr. Phineas Wells began reviving a handful of the Hope's colonists. Engineers, scientists, technicians, and intellectuals. They were among the brightest minds the Earth had ever sent out into the stars. The Hope scientists and engineers woke up in a colony descending headlong into total collapse. With no way to return to Earth, they had no choice but to band together and devote themselves to the cause of saving Halcyon. The people of Halcyon were nothing if not hardy. In the absence of the board's authority, many of the colony's settlements banded together with a single purpose in mind, survival. Life was especially hard in the years to come. Some towns dissolved by attrition and starvation, but most of them found a way to carry on. In the years to come, Halcyon was forced to reckon with its newfound freedom. The board was ah, gone. So they are and done for done. better or worse, the colony was responsible for its own destiny. Sanjar's civil liberties and worker-centric policies were slow to catch on with the other corporations. But as Halcyon began its long, arduous journey toward recovery, many of Terra 2's smaller townships started adopting MSI's alternative corporate structure and eventually became entirely self-sufficient. Hey! In the coming years, many of these townships managed to eke by, where otherwise they might have starved. Adelaide McDevitt replaced Reed Thompson as the leader of Edgewater. She and her followers transformed Edgewater in their image. Anyone loyal to Reed was pressured into leaving town, and those who stayed behind adapted to her way of life. Adelaide transformed the old cannery into a new garden. The nearby Edgewater Cemetery provided a convenient source of fertilizer. <laughs> June Lee Tennyson fought to protect the Groundbreaker's independence. While the board's influence faded, mechanical difficulties forced her to rely on parts that only corporations could provide. The cost was high, and time would tell if Jun Lei could balance the work with her aspirations for a better future. The rediscovery of the hope and the abandonment of the lifetime employment program forced Byzantium to come to terms with some uncomfortable realities about the state of Halcyon. While Byzantines were reluctant to surrender the luxuries they'd grown accustomed <laughs> to, the board's diminished authority gave them little choice in the matter. Nearly everyone had to learn to make do with less. Some even had to get jobs. Oh no. It was a dark time indeed. <laughs> That's funny. Ellie savored her adventures on the unreliable. Once they were done, she returned to life as usual, running missions of dubious legality, shunning respectable work, and living life to the fullest. She meant to reach out to her one-time captain, but she was always bad at keeping in touch. Life in Halcyon was sobering for Felix Melstone. The grand revolution he dreamed of never came. There was no great awakening for the colony, no celebrations in the streets. There was only the hard, desperate work of trying to repair a broken colony. Felix never had a head for numbers, but if there was labor to be done, 
he was there to help. Eventually, Felix realized that the work of a revolution was done with two hands. After all he'd seen and heard adventuring with you, the vicar Maximilian de Soto renounced his faith and joined the effort to rebuild the colony. Ironically, he finally found the joy that had eluded him over the course of his life and realized that though Parvati eventually grew comfortable aboard the Unreliable, she never quite came out of her shell. She seemed to prefer the company of Ada to the crew. And she, uh. while the colony fell into chaos, she found an island of relative peace with Ada, and they formed an unusual bond. She decided to remain aboard the uh. island. As hard as she tried to drink them away, Nyoka's memories eventually overcame her. Traveling with the crew, the I don't really care about the company to spread awareness of the product line's superior sanitation and maintenance capabilities across what was left of the colony. S Sam boosts this in sales. To a boost in Minister Clark was released from house arrest, and his contact with you gave him a sense of renewed purpose. As for Dr. Phineas Wells, he spent his remaining years in his orbital lab. Though he was always haunted by the failures of his past, he was determined to make... The revival project was hard and painful work. But in the end, despite limited resources, over half the hopes called Dr. Wells laid the groundwork for the project to save the colony, but he would never live to see the fruits of his labor. He passed away a few years later. His work was life will never be the it's same. Carried on. on. It is widely agreed that the colony has a chance of stabilizing within a generation, owing to the hard work and determination. And what about you? The unplanned long after Wells passed away. You carried on his work with more energy, determination, and brilliance than he could ever muster. The years that fall. No one knows what's happened to Earth, and no one knows what the future has in store for Halcyon. All we know for certain is this. The name of the unreliable and that of its intrepid captain will remain the subject. That was good. That was good. All right. Um, yeah, I do want to do more, but I don't know. I'm, I think I'm just going to pick a break for a bit from this game. Um, I don't know. I, fe I felt like I was rushing it in the end, and I kind of was because, like, I wasn't... I feel like today I wasn't fully into it, but it was still, either way, a very fun game. Um, I, there's a lot to go back and redo. There's a lot of missions to play. I feel like if the game has everything... I was so un under-leveled, too. Like, I didn't get the full extent of everything all the stuff that you can unlock so that kind of held me back a little bit too i don't know when when i can figure this out i think i'm gonna play like a moda version and do side quests and things like that maybe on like a weekend or like a day i'm kind of like not sure what to play or i might do that myself like off stream but um for now i actually need to hop off living legend how you doing uh i actually have to hop off right now so Appreciate you stopping by for the time that you did. But uh yeah, it's I have to get off a little bit early. Tomorrow I will be on actually for quite a while. So if you want to come through then, I'll be on. Um other than that, I actually need to go like right now. So appreciate it. Hope you have a good night and uh hopefully I'll see you tomorrow because I'll be on pretty much all day. Alright, see ya.